Welcome to the Honda Power Equipment video, How to Operate Your Honda EU7000IS Generator. In this video, we'll show you how to properly and safely operate your generator. This video does not cover all the ways to operate an EU7000IS generator. As always, refer to the owner's manual regarding the safe and proper operation. Generator exhaust contains carbon monoxide, which is a poison you cannot see or smell. Never use a generator inside a home or garage, even if the doors and windows are open. Only use it outside, far away from windows, doors, and vents. Now let's identify the controls on the exterior of the generator. Control panel. Handle. Right maintenance cover. Left maintenance cover. Muffler tip fuel tank cap, fuel gauge, stands, wheels, and the battery maintenance cover. On the control panel, there's the main switch, engine start button, eye monitor, eye monitor button, eco throttle switch, output indicator light, overload indicator light, oil alert indicator light, AC receptacles with AC circuit breaker, parallel outlets, voltage selector switch, and the CO minder. The Honda EU7000IS generator is certified to operate on regular unleaded gasoline with a pump octane of 86 or higher containing no more than 10% ethanol. Adding fuel to your generator should be done in a well-ventilated area, away from sources of flames or sparks, and always wipe up any spills immediately. Make sure that the engine is off and cooled, and fill the fuel tank slowly up to the red ring in the fuel filter to avoid overfilling. Reinstall the fuel filler cap. Wipe up any spills before operation. Verify that the generator is outside and is clear of any windows, doors, or openings. Always check the oil level in your generator before each use. Be sure that all appliances or devices are disconnected from the generator. Make sure the eco throttle switch is turned to the off position. Turn the main switch to the on position. Press and release the engine start button. One press of the button operates the electric starter for five seconds or until the engine starts. The engine can also be recoil started if the battery voltage is not sufficient to operate the electric start. To do so, turn the main switch to the on position, open the right maintenance cover, and locate the recoil starter grip. Pull the starter grip lightly until you feel resistance, then pull briskly away from the generator. Return the starter grip gently back to the generator. Once the engine is warmed up, the eco throttle function can be used, and the voltage can be selected using the voltage selector switch. To stop the engine, turn off all connected devices and then turn the main switch to the off position. Generators are a potential source of electrical shock. Never expose the generator to moisture, rain, or snow. Do not operate the generator with wet hands or remove any of the generator covers while it's running. The AC receptacles can supply power to both 120 volt as well as 240 volt devices when following the generator output chart shown. If you are only powering 120 volt devices, the voltage selector switch should be in the 120 volt position. Only place the switch in the 120 240 position when powering 240 volt or both 120 and 240 volt devices. Before connecting an appliance to the generator, verify that it is turned off in good working order and that its electrical rating does not exceed that of the generator. Once the generator is started and the green output indicator is illuminated, voltage is present at the receptacles. Plug the appliance into the corresponding receptacle and then turn the appliance on. If the red overload alarm light illuminates or the circuit protector trips, 
the appliance may require more electrical power than the generator is able to supply. The power to the receptacles will be stopped until the fault has been rectified. Stop the engine, unplug the appliance, and recheck the appliance to verify that the generator's specifications are not exceeded. The EU7000IS is equipped with Ground Fault Circuit Interrupter Receptacles, or GFCI for short. To perform a GFCI test or reset, follow these basic steps. Confirm that the generator is running in a safe manner. Unplug all tools and appliances. Check that the circuit protector is set to on. Press the test button. The reset button will extend and the LED will illuminate. Press the reset button until flush with the base. If the button will not depress, or if the GFCI LED stays on, contact an authorized Honda generator dealer for repair. The EU7000IS generator is equipped with the Eco Throttle system, which automatically raises or lowers the engine speed depending on the electrical load for lower noise and improved fuel consumption. To use the Eco Throttle function, start the generator with the Eco Throttle switch in the off position. Plug in the appliance, turn the Eco Throttle switch to the on position, and then confirm that the engine speed adjusts once the appliance is turned on. Some appliances and tools with higher startup power demands may not operate correctly using the Eco Throttle function. Confirm that the appliance or tool does not exceed the capacity of the generator. And in the event a tool or appliance does not function properly, turn the Eco Throttle off and retry. For any additional information regarding the operation of your EU 7000 IS, refer to your owner's manual or contact your Honda Power Equipment dealer.